Um, you know, everything is good. Just been working a lot. You know, haven't had time to to um, relax a little bit. But you know, we've been going like like hard, uh, hard. Like it's been it's been weeks and weeks and months just going hard. You know? Right, and and I see it's all for a good purpose. Oh yeah, of uh, course. Of this course. shades of gray. Yeah. Got, got the tuxedo on, look, looking very established. Yeah, you know, got the grown, um, got the grown man going on. Right, like the coat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad he thug it out like a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It look like you got some sense on here, man. <laughs>and just some just some straight down good music period um and and for me the title was shades of gray a lot of people was like yo why is this is this has it got something to do with 50 shades of gray or anything right. like, it's more it's more of a fusion of where i'm from and where i'm at right now like i'm from africa ghana right. and it's more of a fusion of music african music and american music so my my analogy was if african music was let's say an extreme color like say black Right. And American music, hip hop was extreme color, like say white. My music represents all the shades that exist between those two spectrums. Hey, hey try to get me bold, is that? Yeah, I was like, uh, down. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, everybody would come with their memes. I hear that. And, you know, just so it's just to me. To me, that's what it's. It's. It was, the, it was the best way to explain it. So if you listen to it, you you expect you should expect to get everything in between every musical sound between um, hip hop and African music. Oh, right. Reggae in between there somewhere? You got, got there's reggae I've in there too. I've got so. I got reggae in there too. All right. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she got to get that in. Look at that. Always. Of course. Of course. Gotta <laughs> all day. Got to represent all day. <laughs> now, uh, tell us what's the, now. Your first one was uh, coming to America, wasn't it? Yeah, that was coming uh, to America. What's as far as a as as a artist? Yeah. What's the difference between that one and and and, and this shades of gray? Um. Coming to America was for me. It was more of a mixtape, um, and what I meant, and it has it has every aspect of a mixtape. Like I, I jacked other people's beats and did stuff over them. Oh, wow. I had a whole bunch of features. I think I had about seven features. All right. Jagged Edge, Gucci Man, Rashida. Um, uh, it was it was a lot of features. But this is more me. So it's it has no features on it. This gonna be more of an album type feel. It's, it's yeah. It's a it's an EP. So it's only five songs, but it's more me. It's like me with no features on it. Okay. You know? All right. All right. So you you run Rocksteady Music? Yeah, Rocksteady Rock Steady Music Group is my is my production company. Okay. So um, everything I do music wise comes comes up under Rocksteady. Under Rocksteady. Um, I have a publishing company to uh, Selton Music. So I have okay. Rocksteady Music and Selton Music. You got so, your business right, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a little bit here and there. You, you hear that, ladies? <laughs> you got your business right. <laughs> so a person that's wants to come work with you, what should they have like when they're coming to approach you? I mean, well, it depends because that question is a little complicated when it comes to me because I do so many things. Mm -hmm. So when you say work with me, I said, well, I own, I own a artist. Okay. Because I own a studio. Okay. So if, a, if an artist comes to me and they just want to use my studio, mm -hmm. you know, they can book the studio and get to use it with my engineers and all that. Okay. Or if they want to work with me as a writer or as a producer, I could do that too. Do so. you manage? No, I don't. You don't manage. I need to be managed. <laughs> mm. I, I mean, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to work with a lot of people. Um, so you to work with everybody. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe Jay Z on the rap tip. Okay. You know, just for good time's sake. And then and then on this on the R and B singing tip, I think maybe uh, artists like. Uh, Shade for me. Okay. What they know about that? You gonna have to go over there. She ain't loud over her. <laughs> <laughs> oh Shade! Oh, about time somebody said yeah. something about Shade. Yeah, you, you know I, I like she, she. She from Nigeria. Yeah, so she, real she lame. Once I graduated, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start, you know, doing what I love to do because right. I, I really did the school part for my parents. You know, yeah, so I hear that. It's 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 an African thing. Like like we like to take we like to take uh, education real serious. Right. So you had to you wanted to do that for for your yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like traditional. Yeah. Or, you know they yeah. really wanted to see you. Exactly. I, I, I mean that. I actually had to deal with my mom. Like I mean she passed away. God rest her soul. But I had I had a, an agreement with her. She was like, look, you finish college and after that you do what you want to do. And that's I real. Like, I was like bet that. So she was like, where you want to go? 
So I picked up Usher CD instead of Atlanta. <laughs> I picked up a Jagged Jagged Edge CD instead of Atlanta. I was like, damn, you gotta be popping out there in Atlanta. <laughs> so I came to Atlanta. And did your thing. Um, it, it's, I've, I've watched it evolve, like, like when I, when I first got here, the music scene was, it was a little more of a tight-knit group, like, it was like an executive boys club type, right. you needed a major label endorsement to get in type, you know, but now, now it's opened up and it's, it has its pros and cons, but for the most part it's good because a kid from, from Alabama somewhere in the corner can cut a record and put it on YouTube and next thing you know he's, he's out of here. So you know, right. it, it, it do. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I had the pleasure of working with uh, GS Voice on Stinky Lake. I actually missed that record. Right. So it was like right. I, I went from hearing what it was like in the studio to next minute. So you were responsible for the crazy. Oh, nah. <laughs> you, got, you know you gotta do the Stinky Lake. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> came up with the names. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I did. I was too busy with the engineering. I didn't. I didn't get to watch them do it. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, for me, it's it's an art, and it's like it's like uh, somebody who paints a picture, right? And it's like I gotta get I gotta get my canvas and I gotta paint it, and after that I gotta sell it. So for me, the whole process is the artistic process. Like I, me picking the type of canvas I use is still part of the, the right. artistic process. So it's like I mean, I, I I can it's hard to point out one. You know, I, I love I love producing. It's like I like seeing a record come from nothing, from right. we in the studio right. dead silence to you got a great record, and you know, and and to coming up with the concept. Like even the the video, the call the police video, that was that was for the most part my concept and Signal Point. Shout out to Signal Point, they shot it. You know, so it's it's like I mean I, I like to see it all the way out to the end. Like a movie director. Yeah. I would say don't I don't know if anybody would want to follow my footsteps. Like you know what? Like I'm the type of person that I'll be sitting in uh, 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 at the studio thinking like, you know what? I gotta get it. I have to make it. That's I, I mean that's so it's like sometimes when people are people are like, yo, um how is it how is it being, you know, successful? Like, you know, I'm like successful. You still trying to get to uh, Yeah, it's like Oh you're successful. Don't be playing around. Well, I mean, if, 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 you're, if, you're, if you set out on a journey to get to New York and you get to North Carolina and somebody asks you, oh, how, how does it feel being successful? You got to North Carolina. Right. What you going to tell them? So you say they ain't going to I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. So you say you ain't peaked yet. He's still hungry. No. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. As long as you're hungry. What, what else are you trying to accomplish? Like, you're trying to... I mean, I want, I want a baby in, in the ghettos of of Africa somewhere in the back corner to be changed or moved by by my record. Mm -hmm. You know, I want I want I want to be able to do shows, fill out stadiums and, and yeah, do shows. Icon. And then I want to be able to go back to Africa and give back to, to my community. You know, at least right. I know I'm, I ain't gonna be able to change the world. Right. But at least do your you know, part. I, yeah. No, I mean it, to me it, it brings me joy it brings me joy to help somebody, like to see a smile on someone's face. Like it's like, it's just it just brings me joy. Um, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. I mean, it, it's it's been good. I can't even complain, man. It's, it's been good. Um, you know, first of all, I mean, I, I had my start, of course, on on the Housewives of Atlanta. Um, you know, Kim Zosia, Tardy to the party. What's up, sweetie? Not shout him out. What's up, sweetie? Tardy to the party. I'm still trying to get Kim May to come on the show, man. Tardy to the party. I've been trying to get sweetie to come on the show, man. Shout out, sweetie, man. How at me. Are you gonna do any spinoffs? Um, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, my my thing is is whatever, whatever God lays on my table, you know, I I, I partake of it. You know, right now, for right now, it's just after this housewives thing, we we doing this candy factory with candy. We actually filming right now. It's the it's the first season, right. so we are filming that part right now. You're a host on candy um, candy factory. Well, not a it's not a host. It's it's not a show. It's not that type of a show. It's like yeah. it's a show where we take in average people from everyday life and turn them and make them superstars. Uh, well, yeah, we try our best to. Okay. And I I 
I mean, the music scene is jumping out there, man. It's it's, it's like I'm, you know, I, I grew up on African music. I love it. You know, I still listen to it. So it, the music scene is jumping. It's just that the opportunities to turn that into financial uh, um, mm. gain, it's it's not as dominant over there as it is over here. So they do it more for the love. Well, yeah, you mm. you got that's the, the that's the only reason why you do it out there. That's good. You know, it's like it's, it's not it's not. You can hear it in its unity. Exactly. Unity. Exactly. 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 